Hello, Cheap Skaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheap Skates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up, and laughing. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. If this is your first time visiting us, welcome. And if you're not, if it's not, welcome back. So, today I'm prepping our salads for the week. Daylight saving has started. Yes, I love daylight saving because it means cooking outside on the barbecue and salads. And I always make our salads for the week. I do them in one hit, get it all over and done with. And then we eat well with fresh food for the entire week. We're not tempted to go out and buy anything. We're not tempted to skip dinner and eat something totally unhealthy. It's all there in the fridge for us. And best of all, there's usually enough for my lunches during the week too. So I'm going to start with potato salad, then creamy pasta salad. I've got a coleslaw to make and I have eggs on boiling. Then I will make a nice big green, we call it green salad, it's pretty much just green stuff and then I'll add the extras to it later on. So I'm going to drop the camera down a bit, get CC, close your eyes because I'm about to chop up some potatoes for my favourite potato salad. Okay, so close your eyes so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Let me move this over here. That's better. Okay. I didn't think you needed to watch me boil, uh, peel potatoes. So I peeled them before we came on. This potato salad, oh dear. Let me swap chopping boards, folks. That will drive you nuts. There we go. That's better. It won't quite so clacky for you. This potato salad to me needs big chunky pits of potato. Sort of hmm, I that size. Now I'm doing enough for the week, which is enough for three meals, three dinners for the four of us. So I've done Oh, there's a mixture of potatoes, but normally if the potatoes are like palm size, if they're sort of that size, I'll do one each. If they're bigger, I do a half or work on a half a potato each. It's just how I do it. You do as many as you need to feed your family because there really isn't quantities to this recipe. It's very much a how you like it and by taste recipe. Now, if I've had new potatoes, the skins would still be on them because this salad is great with um, new potatoes with the skins on. But I didn't have new potatoes, so skins came off, went to the worms, and now I'm chopping. I'm being very careful because I'm very conscious. I'm really nervous when I'm cooking and knowing you guys are watching me. It scares the daylights out of me. Okay, this one I might just do like this. Do you have a particular time of year when you suddenly go, okay, it's time for salads, time for barbecues or maybe time for soups and stews or do you just eat them all year round we tend to have yeah, um, salad time and soup time and I can tell you from when daylight saving starts until it ends very little cooking is done inside it is all done outside on the barbecue. Okay, so they're all chopped. Now, I do have water in this pot. There you go, the piece on the floor. And they can go straight back in there because I'm going to boil them. This particular potato salad does better with boiled potatoes than steamed. 
So I'm going to put them on to boil. While they're boiling, I'll get the macaroni started, uh, the pasta started for the pasta salad. Where's the lid? Okay, over here to the stove. So you can see what I'm doing. Let me move you around. Okay, potatoes. Right. The water for the pasta is boiling, so in it will go. I've got spirals this time. I was going to do um, rigatoni, but they're a bit big, so we'll do spirals. 250 grams. So that's half this packet that I just put straight off the pantry shelf. I didn't think there'd be enough in there. So half the packet roughly. In they go. Give it a bit of a stir and let that cook. Right, I've wiped down this breadboard. Okay, so the pasta's on. It will take about 12 or so minutes, depending. That means this can go, this canister can be refilled. And put away. That goes in the plastic Right, now I need to chop some veggies. I need onion for the potato salad and for the coleslaw and a little tiny bit for the pasta salad. The recipe, which is on our website, it's called Premium Pasta Salad, is um, calls for spring onions, but I don't have any ready to go yet. So regular white onion it will be. My onion board. Whoops, sorry guys. Anyone else have a? Um, I'll drop you down again, people, so you can see what we're doing. We go. Anyone else have a cutting mat or board just for onion? Onions and garlic, chives, spring onion, that sort of thing. Just roughly chopping them because I'm putting them in the food processor to chop them all at once. If you've got a kitchen appliance, use it. Don't let it sit in the cupboard doing nothing but collect dust and waste your money. Okay, into the food processor. Did I do with the lid? I had it right here. With the lid on. Okay, guys, I'm still getting used to this lid on. Round we go. Helps if you turn the power on. want them I don't want them um, swooshy but I don't want big chunks okay a bowl and I do the onions first because everything I'm making has onion in it it doesn't all have carrot or celery for instance so okay. Down again so you can see. Okay. Put the food processor. 
back together. Onions are done. So I should move those to the side now. A couple of little carrots that just need to be quickly have the ends chopped off. I might give them a bit of a peel. They were washed before they went in the fridge, but they've been in the fridge for a few days, so they're a bit. Where did I leave the peel over here? They're a bit not hairy, but dull. So. Right. No more chopping with the or no more peelings. So this can go over here to go to the worm. noisy because carrots are naturally noisy when they are being chopped. I warn you now. Okay, let's go and see what they're doing. in there because there's no more food processor chopping to be done. Okay. Now, this is the last of our cabbage from the garden that I pulled out last night and tore apart to wash just because I noticed there were some slaters and nobody wants slaters in there. Ugh, found one. Didn't do a very good job washing, did I? I thought I'd got them all out last night. I pulled heaps of it apart. That one was right in the middle. Don't like the look of that. Don't like the look of that. So now I'm going to have to pull it all apart and have a really good look at it before I chop it. I do not want bugs in my salad. I don't care what Bill Gates says. I'm not eating bugs. Not knowingly, anyway. Certainly not willingly. Okay. This one I left to go, I was going to let it go to seed, but I was out of carrot. Oh, this one, yes, look at that. Out of cabbage. So, the pasta is stuck. Alright, now. Okay, guys, before I do any chopping of the cabbage, um, I'm going to turn the eggs off. They've come to a boil. They've been boiling for about three minutes. So I'm turning them off and I'm just going to let them sit. And they will sit there till I'm ready to clean up. It saves gas, saves cracked eggs, and I never have an issue peeling them if I do it this way. They peel really easily. 
So the eggs are off. Dry this cabbage. I've got the tab cabbage rolled up in a tea towel. I'm going the wrong way because I'm looking the wrong way. It's cabbage rolled up in a tea towel to take out the excess water. And I will put it here. Gently upend it onto the breadboard and start chopping. Again, roughly chopped. I don't um, finally chop the coleslaw a little bit. And that looks like this. If anyone finds a bug in their coleslaw, extra protein, and it was free. bits that might need to be chopped up just a little bit all right this can go into the colander to wait for the other veggies to be added now I will be adding to this onion of course carrot and celery um, a couple of sticks of celery that I will roll back up. I love these fresh and crisp days, guys. Just love, 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 love them. I'm sure there's no bugs on the chopping board. favorite coleslaw this is my absolute favorite cabbage carrot celery onion and dressing it's the um coleslaw I grew up with it's the one my mum made so I love it love it love, 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 love it and it's easy and when you do it like this it keeps I don't dress it until just before we're going to eat it I do add the onion I know some people might think that's weird, but it doesn't bother me. Um, so, celery in there, give it a toss through. Right, let's get down here. It's fine. It's fine. Right, this goes into a fresh and crisp bag, which I need to get out of the drawer. <laughs> See if I have a big one. Here we go. Just into one of these really nice big fresh and crisp bags. Potatoes boiling. Turn the heat down. Let me check the pasta. Is done. Sit for a minute. Okay, pasta's done. Let's take it off the stove and drain it. It's in my pasta pot. So where are my poppers? Okay. Pasta is draining. Let me get a knife to check the potatoes. And come off the boil. Turn them down too far. Right. Coleslaw into the bag. For 
coleslaw into the bag. Let me get my scoop out. My trusty soup ladle. Can you see what I'm doing? Yep, cool. more than half of this into here. We don't need as much in the pasta salad. Okay. And then onion. Same deal with the onion. That's it. Coleslaw is made. Just needs to be dressed each night now these bags have self sealy things that yeah, they work fine um for a few goes for a few uses and then they stop so if i do it i close it up but i also will use a bag clip on it it's ready to go in the fridge right next on the list for pasta salad. Bowl for pasta salad. Pasta salad has a little, little bit of onion. Uh, sprinkle in, not a lot of onion. And then we need carrot. Okay, have whatever veggies you like to this, really. Really, really, really. Carrot and celery. I knew I needed to chop more celery. Looks nice. Now, for the pasta salad, celery is going to be. I'll just split down the. I might need a smaller knife that I can have better control of. For this, where is it? Okay. Your main ingredient is big you can have bigger bits of veggies if your main ingredient is small smaller pieces makes it easier to blend and it just goes better it's more appealing to the eye and that means it's more appealing to the taste buds so peace to me i love celery love 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 celery it's been quite cheap here lately, the last few weeks. Like two huge big bunches for five dollars. I bought a heap and put it in a dehydrator for winter. Powdered the leaves and added them to my green powder jar. Now, pasta's cooling draining over the sink. Now, I add hot pasta to the veggies. It just softens them up just a weeny bit without cooking them. So the original recipe didn't say to do that. It's just something that I do that we like. Here we go. What do I do with this scraper? Okay. If I had green capsicum, green capsicum would be going in here. Red capsicum, yellow capsicum can go in. You can put um, diced zucchini if you want to. 
whatever veggies you have on hand. Okay, and that's ready to go in the fridge as soon as it's dressed. I will wait till it's cool to dress it. So, two down, eggs are done, potatoes, let me check them again. Almost. Okay, fresh and crisp bag ready. Let me do some tidying up around here so that I'm not in such a big muddle. All right, that goes in the laundry. I'll be back in a second. These for the compost. All the worms, hello worms, can turn on them. Nope, don't put that in the worm bins. Worms can have these. Worms. Put celery away. Shopping to be done. Don't think so. Okay. Fresh and crisp bags there. I'll talk about those a bit more in a minute. So all this goes over on the sink to be yuck. yuck. Um, cleaned up. Cool. Dressing for the potato salad goes on while the potatoes are warm. I'm looking at the wrong thing here. goes on while the potatoes are warm. And it is really, really simple. It is a whole egg mayo and balsamic vinegar. That's it. So this is a new jar. Oop, yeah. And there's my bottle of balsamic. I love balsamic. So... Let me gloves of mayo again. I don't measure it, I eyeball it to the consistency we like. I kind of like all the potatoes should be covered with this dressing. I also add the balsamic to taste. Can you see what I'm doing there? Get this out of the way move you over there and you'll be able to see and then it's a matter of mixing until it's all mixed through taste it to make sure it's to your liking I love this Look. probably needs more balsamic but let me keep it a second now Putting it on the potatoes while they're warm means potatoes sort of absorb a bit of it. Needs more balsamic. I can tell by the colour. Because it's sort of a mm, coffee colour, milk coffee colour maybe. It should be when it's to our liking anyway. the mayo lumps out you want it smooth okay that's done next up is the dressing for pasta salad and I will use this um, bowl to make it put the lid back on the balsamic before I knock it over and spill it everywhere I will use this bowl to make it um, just bear with me when I make sure I've got the, so I'm telling you the recipe, so I make sure I've got the quantities right. Otherwise, I just do it by um, taste. Bottle of coleslaw dressing. 
and sour cream. Okay, follow us coleslaw dressing. And I just use the coals. I think the original recipe said praise. I don't like praise, so I don't buy praise. So I use coals. And I need a knife to get that lid off. I understand they're tamper proof and spill proof and whatever, but by golly, they are hard when you have arthritic fingers that don't work. Okay. A lot of coleslaw dressing. That can end there like that. That will go upside down in the fridge and we will use it on sandwiches during the week. Sour cream. Yeah, sour cream. Two tablespoons of sour cream. This is a new one. Again, it says two tablespoons, but I do sort of I eyeball it. Because really, it's got to taste good. It's got to taste really, really good. Get the lumps out. That's the dressing done. Now, the only thing left to go in the pasta salad almost cool in the pasta salad is grated cheese and i haven't grated the cheese yet but i will taste the dressing and see if it's pretty good too i don't find that always taste your food always always taste your cooking if you don't taste it how do you know that it, it's right that there's enough seasonings in it that it's got the flavor that you want with the grated cheese sorry back to the pasta salad let me drip it down so you can see it back to the pasta salad with the um, grated cheese I like to put it in just before we serve it so I will measure out what we have for each night sprinkle on some grated cheese just because it goes a bit can't say soggy because cheese doesn't really go soggy but you know you know what I mean it goes white and soft and it, it it's still fine and perfectly edible it just it doesn't look that appetizing okay, I think that's warm enough and we can add this and then it's ready to go into Don't put it all on. Sometimes the pasta is... Ugh. Now you know I don't cook all the time on camera. I'm messy. Um, just a wincy bit more, I think, for our taste. You add it to your taste. That won't go to waste because I will put it in a little container and it will stay with it in the fridge because the pasta will absorb some of the dressing. Okay. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. Because if you don't taste it, you don't really know. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it's like. It's pretty darn good, it's even warm, but I will add a little bit more onion. Just about, maybe, there. Just not having spring onions, it just doesn't have that fresh oniony flavour. So a little bit more white chopped onion will be fine. Oh. It's good. It's always good. My kids say this is the best pasta salad. Better than any deli salad. Okay, so eggs are done. 
coleslaw is done, pasta salad's done. When it's really cool, I will put it into a Tupperware container to stay in the fridge. Checking the potatoes. Let me see if I can get you around to check the potatoes. Slowly, sorry about the vibrations. Potatoes are done, so they just need to be drained, which means I need to Goodness gracious me. Okay. Potatoes just need to be drained, so into the colander they go. bowl out to this little bowl that they are that it's mixed in and that it's stored in. Okay. Let's then I'm still draining. Put the lid back on the sour cream and potatoes. Right, okay. No more water coming out of there, so let's go see what we're doing. Now, can you see how they're sort of, I'm going to fluff, I'm going to steam up. They're sort of fluffy because they were boiled, not steamed. That's the texture I want because that's what makes this dressing sink in so well. Okay now. Blue spoon. Turn that off. We don't need that on anymore. Very gently toss it through. Now if these these were in their skin still oh, it would be just divine. this dressing it's too good. okay so can you see it's almost a mashed potato salad the potatoes are so so soft and this one is best served at room temperature so if you're going to make it make it chill it by all means, but bring it out of the fridge an hour or so before you're going to eat it. Because it is absolutely delicious. Um, really, really, truly delicious. That was the side of the bowl. Don't worry about it. Okay. Coleslaw's done. Pasta salad's done. Potato salad's done. Eggs are done. Most of our salads are prepped for the week. The only thing left to do is put them on the plate with some lettuce. If I want to do um, a green salad, I do lettuce, cucumber, take the seeds out, celery, red onion, put it all in a bag. I might throw in some silver beet leaves, shredded silver beet or some spinach if we've got it in the garden. It goes, it will all go into one of these amazing fresh and crisp bags too get sealed up just the way the coleslaw is and it stays fresh for the whole week it doesn't last longer than a week in this house so i can't say that it's going to stay fresh longer than a week that's as long as it, i make it to feed us for four meals four or five meals that's it now all i've got left to do is clean up once so i prepped once cleaned up cooked once cleaned up once Stove was only on once. 
food processor went once it's a really efficient way of doing your salads for the week or of anything really but it's also going to save money and save time and it takes away the temptation of buying something on the way home even if it's just buying coleslaw or potato salad or pasta salad because they have really jumped in price so don't think you can't make salads and keep them and don't think you don't have time to do it because how long have we been um, half an hour three quarters an hour something like that doesn't take long at all and if I hadn't been talking to you guys if I hadn't been conscious that I needed to um, be watching what I was doing I would just whiz through this in 25 minutes half an hour 25 30 minutes would have all been done in the fridge cleaned up because I clean as I go salads and dinner done for the week okay so I'm going to leave you there because now I have to clean up and it's getting quite late in the afternoon and my troops will be home for dinner soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to um, like, subscribe and share. Like is just a thumbs up, really helps us. Subscribe and that way you'll never miss a video from Cheapskates Club. And share if you know someone who thinks that they might need or you know someone who thinks... They need help with cooking or budgeting or crafting or solving the issues of the world like we do on a Tuesday night. Share our channel by all means. And of course, subscribe because we've got a dehydrator that's almost ready to leave. Almost ready to leave. Just a few more subscribers and that baby is out of here. Hope you enjoyed the show and I'll see you next time. Happy cheap scanning, guys.